what is up YouTube back for another episode hope you're all having an amazing day and uh man I'm ready to get this wing painted bro I was so excited man so now I gotta go through the painstaking process of taking out what was it 14 bolts to get the wing off and get it back inside then I'm gonna have to take all the bolts and put them back in the trunk so in case it rains until I'm done with the wing uh, water doesn't just dump in there so even though you guys know that it's a monsoon in there anyways <laughs> when it rains, but I could imagine with 13 holes it would be crazy, man. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this wing off real quick. Probably should have thought about cleaning this thing after I drilled the holes. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> now it's a good thing I had to take it back off. It's actually spread that stuff everywhere. So I got a bit of a mess to clean up, bros wing is off and in here now I'll be honest with you guys do you actually call this a wing or a spoiler I keep calling it a wing but you know I'm just confused how do you actually define a spoiler versus a wing I guess how I'm thinking of it is like a wing would be anything like suspended you know what I mean with like legs on it like that and a spoiler would be anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. So if I'm right about that, throw it down in the comments. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. And uh, spoiler alert, bros. <laughs> I like calling it a wing anyways. So, now, as you guys know, with the paint that I'm using, I can use a 320 to sand this thing up. Uh, only thing really just needs a little extra work will be these spots where I kind of gouged it up because I actually kind of went into the plastic a little bit too, but not a big deal. So, let me go ahead and get the sheet laid out and uh, get to sanding, bros. So, I checked the weather and they said a tiny chance, like 20% chance of rain today and no rain all weekend. So, I'm like, cool, man, I don't have to put the bolts back in the hatch, don't worry about it. And then I look outside right now and I see this. Wow. Getting some sanding done, but bros, oh my god. Check this out, this is insane. You gotta be kidding me. What? Oh my god. I wanna be pissed if it rains, bros. Pissed hate the weather guy in our town, man. He's always wrong. I just like to find his Instagram and just message him and just be like, bro, I got a forecast for you. There's a 100% chance of flying fists at your face within the next hour if it rains on my car. <laughs> Twenty percent chance of rain, huh? Anyways, aside from the Ohio River that's relocated itself into my trunk now, <laughs> uh, I'm done sanding this thing, bros. Nice, looking good. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go over this thing with uh, some Windex and a rag just to get as clean as I can before I get into the shower, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up and uh, clean myself up too. Jeez! <laughs> this thing's looking amazing. Nice. Now, I've had people before comment, oh man, I sanded through the primer. Do I need to reprimer it? Literally, primer is either for A, bare metal, or B, uh, it helps with. Uh, being able to see spots that aren't quite f flat, you know what I'm saying? Like humps or if you got dips and holes and stuff like that, that's where primer really shines. Uh, for me personally, it's just so that I can have something to see with while I'm painting. Because everything on my car is black, so you can imagine trying to go... If you imagine this was black and shiny like it was, or even dolled up, then I've got to go over that with more black paint. So trying to put black paint on top of black paint and see what you've done and haven't is very difficult. Which is why I love using primer. 
And again, it lets me see, you know, if there's any spots that are really bad that actually would need fixed. But this thing is ready to go. So, it's time for the usual, bros. Get the Oxy Ultra Deluxe, get it in the shower, get this thing cleaned up. Okay, this thing's all nice and cleaned up. So normally, I would set up the room right now and get it ready to start painting. But, it's Thursday right now, and I can only do it on the weekends. Uh, so... We'll cut back on either Friday evening or Saturday morning. Get this thing painted and clear coated, bros. See you guys then, man. Peace. What up, bros? It's a new day, and I am ready to get this thing painted today, bros. I'm so pumped, man. So, let me go ahead, uh, get the paint booth set up. Bam! <laughs> All right, man. Room is set up, so you guys know the rules now. Break out some 70% alcohol, some microfiber towels. Let's get this thing cleaned up and ready for paint, bros. Okay, this thing's all cleaned up. Went over it twice with alcohol. Now I'll just let the alcohol evaporate. I've got the respirator ready, and now I just need to shake this up and get it ready to go, man. I'm so pumped, guys. Can't wait to paint this thing, man. <laughs> Set the timer for 15 minutes. We'll do a second coat and then we'll come back. Just got the second coat on, set the timer. Got 11 minutes left. Uh, this is the second coat. That's all I'm doing, it's just two coats. Looking amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy once you actually get the black on here and of course you guys know how this light is. You can see all the flaws. You can actually see all the flaws in the fiberglass now. The back is actually really nice. Can't really see too many flaws. A little wavy up top, but look at the front. See all those waves and stuff in it. That's just from the fiberglass itself not being perfect, but it's all good. You guys know I am. You'll never see that out in the sun. So now I need to go ahead and get the clear coat prepped. So for those of you new to the channel, uh, Spray Max 2K Clear. So how this works is it's got a hardener inside of it. So you pop this little red top off, put it on the bottom. And then press as hard as you can to hear a loud pop. Right like that. And it releases a hardener in there. And then you want to make sure you shake this thing up really good. Obviously, you want to shake it up before you release the hardener, then shake it up, uh, which I've already done, then release the hardener. And now you want to shake it up really good for like a good three or four minutes. Make sure you got it really good and shaken up. All right, first coat is on. I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, it's 15 minutes between everything, in between coats of the paint, coats of the clear, so we'll come back when all the coats are done. Alright bros, four coats on and done. Uh, I think I got like a tiny little bit, maybe like right in here left, just a tiny little amount. Uh, I got four coats total though, so that's more than enough. Uh, airing the place out. In case you guys always wonder how I do it. So after I get done painting, I take this, stick it like that, air the room out for five minutes, close the door, stick a fan there to air it that way, open that door, and then it just naturally airs itself out. Uh, now once I get to, if it's not windy out, I'll push it that way, but if it's windy, the wind comes through this way. So I'll just open that up. And I'll actually turn the fan off and just let the wind do its thing and just push it right out. Alright, I can't take it. I gotta give you guys a little sneak peek, man. <laughs> yeah! Look at that. Oh my lord! That's what I'm talking about, bros. Yes! <laughs> That's all you get for now. Looks amazing, right? <laughs> can't wait, man. Uh, now, from what I can see, it's... Uh, 
pretty flawless only on the back there's what looks like maybe I got a few drips from the can uh, but other than that it's like real hard to see so if it's hard to see in there once you get out here it's almost impossible and then out in the sun you'll never see it so um, we'll give it the usual somewhere between 17 and 20 hours and then we'll bring it out here and take a look and see if I need to do any wet sand and buffing so see you guys then man peace what up bros it's a new day uh, it's been about 23 and a half 22 and a half 23 hours now I've looked this thing all over and I'm honestly happy with the way it turned out everything I'm not gonna wet sand or buff anything I just don't see anything that needs it there was one spot on the back find it here I was kind of messing with it earlier you can kind of see a tiny little bit of where it dripped but it actually flattened out a lot better I don't think you're gonna see that at all once you get out in the Sun man and it is a beautifully sunny day man so with this being said let me swing over there get the Z bring it back over to this parking lot and let's get this thing put on man I'm so pumped bros now you guys remember I got the new quick releases on the front well I just happened to get new ones for the rear and silver as well same company JDM speed so I'm gonna go ahead and put those on as well got the car back here and ready oh man let's get this wing on get these new quick releases on bros oh, I'm so excited man all right man wing is on done uh, new quick releases are on and done so with that being said you guys know what time it is. go man absolutely amazing oh my god probably some of my best paint and clear coat job that I've done thus far turned out absolutely amazing all right bros it's gonna wrap this one up man make sure if you guys like the video you smash that thumbs up you guys new to the channel see some more content hit that subscribe button make sure you guys hit the bell notification to be notified my newest content and uh Hmm. Peace.